guys, right now it's not the day that I'm actually going to be vlogging with you all, but I'm doing something faultly and pumpkin-y and vegan. So I'm going to take you guys to David's Tea. And they have a tea that is a pumpkin pie matcha tea. And it is vegan. So it's a tea. They have another tea that is like a pumpkin spice tea that one's not vegan, but the matcha pumpkin is. So I'm going to get that. And they also have pumpkin agave nectar. David's tea, we're gonna try it out, and I thought I'd just show you guys and my first taste test, since all you guys like my Starbucks pumpkin spice one. Yes, so here they have it, the organic agave pumpkin. I can't believe it, because I think it's vegan as well. Well, let's double check. Organic agave syrup, natural pumpkin pie flavoring. Yeah, that sounds vegan to me. Very excited, guys. I'm going to get this one. It's going to be so good. Hey, guys, I asked the lady because I couldn't find it. They have it here. You can't buy it loose, but you can buy it in these prepackaged ones. They have mint. They have vanilla. And bench, they have pumpkin pie matcha. So I was going to taste test it, but I don't think I can since it's prepackaged. But we're going to get it anyways. Maybe I'll make it at home tonight and taste test it with you guys. But this 50 grams, I'm going to get this. I'm gonna get the organic agave pumpkin and it's gonna be exciting. So yeah, you can get this from David's Tea. And it is vegan, all it has is cane sugar, green tea, and natural pumpkin pie flavoring. So this combo is another vegan pumpkin spice trick that you guys can have. Okay guys, so I'm going to make my pumpkin pie matcha tea for breakfast. I'm also making an acai bowl, so we're gonna do that as well. Very exciting. I also realized this does have sugar, so I don't know if I'll need to put that in, but I'm going to anyways, and I can put that in coffee too and have it taste so good. So I'm about to start my day with my tea. I'm gonna try it out. And I have my acai bowl, of course. So it's all green. I used exactly a teaspoon of the matcha tea mix. And I'm just gonna try it. I also drizzled some of the agave nectar on top. It's so good. Mm, it's really pumpkin-y and smooth. I heat it up my almond milk in like my espresso maker and mm -hmm. it's nice with the drizzle on top because that kind of makes it like Starbucks. I used to love their caramel macchiatos. I can't have them because I'm vegan now but they used to have that drizzle on top and it would be really good. Okay well I would definitely recommend this. You guys can get it and um, make it at home. So that's really nice. It's from David's Tea. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Charlotte and this is officially like the start of today's vlog even though you guys saw my breakfast this morning. But today we are going to my city's Veg Fest, which I'm very excited about. I live in um, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. So I am about to head there today. The name of today's video is going to be Full Day Vegan. I am vegan every day for the past two years, but since we're doing all vegan things today, I thought it would be a good clickbait. <laughs> Sorry for that, but girl gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, I'm ready. Today's outfit is just this cute little, I don't play nice sweater, and just some skinny jeans, some black ones. I need to take out my fall clothes. It was struggle finding these pants because they're in like my put away clothes that I have for autumn. So I'm actually gonna do another video on that where I am going to show you guys my autumn slash winter wardrobe. And I'm gonna show you guys how I put away my clothes. But otherwise, without further ado, I wanna head on out because there's vendors there and lots of good food. And I'm already running a bit late. So I think I'm gonna head there right now. And it's going to be fun. I will take you guys along with me. Thanks for checking into today's video and I will walk along with you to Veg Fest now. Okay guys and can we just appreciate my cute as heck leopard print jacket for a second? I got this from a thrift shop like three years ago. I love it. Hey guys so I just arrived right now just in the washroom because I drank a lot of water and I'm about to go out and show you guys all the vendors and stuff. Supposedly some of them are running out of food already but we can still get food. So 
I was about to buy Sprouts, but they only take cash, so I had to go to an ATM. Luckily, it was my bank, so I didn't have to pay no fee. But we are going back in. It's chilly outside, but I got that sweater, so I'm all good. So it's like in the university. I'm not in university, so I've never been here. But they have all the kind of vendors and stuff. Hey guys, so excited because they have a sprout store and literally there's only one sunflower sprout left. They sell all these sprouts here. And I went to this raw vegan restaurant in Nashville like a year ago for now, like a year ago for now. And sunflower sprouts literally taste like sunflowers. They taste just like sunflowers, but they're the sprouts. And they're amazing and they have them. So I got some of those and I also got like another because I love like putting sprouts on everything. Oh my gosh, if you guys watch my pumpkin mac and cheese video, you can put alfalfa sprouts in those. But yeah, I'm so excited. So I already got my first thing. Hee hee hee, look at me shopping like crazy. But And they're gonna have like a vegan mac and cheese test. change into it. I'm deciding which to do for an Instagram photo. They were so nice and they're from Calgary and I love Alberta so bam. Hey guys I'm so very excited to be a judge so I get to take the vegan mac and cheese. I'm really excited. I love food so. Luckily, they weren't too big because I already had like a lot of the mac and cheese, which was so good. But I wanted to try this restaurant because they're in Winnipeg and they have falafel and I haven't tried them before. So, luckily I can say I have now. Bye, Veg Fest! 